hey guys what's up and welcome back to a brand new video so hope you guys are having an amazing day so you guys have read the title of this video so this video is all about the galaxy s11 the leaks and rumors i'm going to be covering everything in this video so the s10 this year was a great smartphone so much better than the s9 and the, um, i will say s9 plus because s9 was basically the copy of s8 with minor changes but the s10 this year was a great smartphone the thing which seems really crazy is four years ago companies didn't want you to know what's coming up next and fast forward to now companies are pushing turns of rumors to make people excited for the new devices. Samsung too is pushing so many rumors regarding the Galaxy S11 starting in the processing department. So the S10 is expected to have a LPDDR5 RAM which is 30% more efficient and 1.5% faster. Now 1.5% or 1.5% isn't a too big increase but what we are really looking for is a 30% efficiency which will hopefully make the battery life last longer. Since we are in the processing department it wouldn't be wrong to talk about the Snapdragon 865. I'm not talking about 8. 55 but 865 which is going to come in 2020 which is not only going to be faster but also will support 5g so it will have the 5g technology integrated into a chip which will be much efficient as compared to the s10 5g which is only in the korean market right now and a great thing is we still aren't done from the processing data department yet because the rumors are saying that the s11 will have a 5 nanometer chip which means like more transistors in a small space now it's going to be a tough competition between apple and samsung because apple is also working on this idea but one thing that is for sure is Samsung is going to wow at this competition but definitely not Apple so I think Samsung is going to come up with this 5 nanometer chip in their S11 or maybe the Note 11 but they're really trying their best to get it out as soon as possible. One of the news I want to talk about is regarding the graphics of their latest Galaxy S11 because S10 this year was a great smartphone with really good graphics but the thing is Samsung this year is partnering up with AMD to make the graphics for the S11 the graphic uh, processor for the S11 which is going to be so much faster and so much come better as compared to the graphics on the S10 because Samsung is really working with DeX to really make your smartphone as a laptop setup so that's why your smartphone need a better graphic card I mean for mobile users it's fine but if you want to really project your smartphone to your laptop or your monitor then you definitely need a better graphics in your smartphone now the thing is uh, I want to talk about the camera sensor because Samsung is using the same camera sensor which is on the S8 and the S9 and S10 for the S10 they did tweak the performance a little bit but it's the same sensor but according to the rumors Samsung is working on a brand new sensor which is not only going to be big but we could also see a zoom lens which is something that is really exciting because Huawei and so many other companies are putting zoom lens in their smartphone now we are hearing all good rumors regarding the S11 but we do have some news which isn't very exciting to hear that is really the 90 hertz display which Samsung is not going to include in the S11 which is kind of sad because Apple is also working with 120 hertz display for the latest flagship so the S11 will come with with the One UI 2.0 which is going to be faster, much lag free and much of the things which seems a bit odd in the One UI is going to be better next year. The one thing which I'm personally really excited for is the 100 watt fast charging which Samsung maybe can release with the S11. It has been rumored but the thing is I think Huawei is going to win this competition because Huawei is also having like some of the fastest charging smartphone in the market right now. So this is going to be a close competition between Samsung and Huawei and all other Chinese companies such as Vivo all of those but i think uh, huawei is going really going to push the fast charging up to 100 watts very soon and another thing i want to talk about regarding the s11 so we are all talking about the things which are inside a smartphone now let's talk about a bit on the body of the smartphone because not everyone is going to be really excited for the specs what most people are really excited for is the body of the smartphone the design language so it has been rumored that samsung is going to go with the buttonless design on the s11 so they wanted to go with the buttonless design with the s uh, Note 10 but for some reason they scrapped this idea because according to rumors Samsung is partnering up with a Chinese company which is responsible for this buttonless design I mean they are responsible for like making smartphones with like pushing buttons whatever you want to call them just like you have seen on the iPhone 7 touch ID or something like that I don't really know what to call it really but this is something we could really see on the s11 which will hopefully make people really excited for the new device i mean now as compared to before people aren't really upgrading the smartphone the way they used to i mean now everyone is keeping the smartphone for like two to three years which is good for the consumer but not good for the manufacturers because they are putting tons of effort money everything into the development of the new smartphones and the thing is most of the smartphones are so good i mean if you buy a flagship of 2019 it will definitely last you until 2021 because of the 
specs because of the camera and everything and same goes for the apple ecosystem i mean it's a bit different but still people do are still using most people i've seen in asian countries are still using the iphone 6s iphone 7 and this is something which companies are really trying to do something about and if samsung can really pull up with a design that is a lot different and maybe it will give people to change their smartphone because what most people are saying right now is all smartphones are kind of similar with different specs different screen but they do have the same design the companies are really trying with different design language the different specs to make people excited for the new device just as we've seen the galaxy fold i think it was a great idea and if we could really work that would really change the people from going towards a smartphone to a galaxy fold or a tablet or a smartphone combo which will hopefully be better and more efficient so i think this video is getting too long and i usually do not make videos that are very long i do like to keep my videos under six to seven minutes but with that being said i think that's it for this video so if you like the video make sure you like and if you're new consider subscribing i become a part of this channel and thanks for watching and goodbye